Explore social media is the next tool. Social media refers to all channels where people and customers are able to interact with each other via digital media that are public or accessible to multiple users. There are a number of social media websites, each of which has created its own model for enabling people to communicate with each other. Social media sites use content in various forms to build digital communities in which ideas and content are shared, and discussion and comments are encouraged. It's important to keep in mind when planning a social media marketing strategy that consumers will not always react positively to a company's updates and content on social platforms. Negative comments about a brand and its products are inevitable even on the company's own social media platforms. Some companies will choose to exert control over comments on their own platforms and delete those that they feel reflect poorly on the brand. Other companies may choose to allow the negative comments to remain and respond in an empathetic way by offering an apology and or a solution to the issues. Leaving comments online, along with the company's responses, shows that the company is open, honest, and transparent. This also provides an opportunity to turn disgruntled customers into a brand evangelist. It's also important to understand the distinction between earned and paid opportunities for sharing. For example, building followers or shares through the development and posting of valuable content is earned. Alternatively, several social platforms provide paid opportunities for advertising and promoted posts in order to share information. Earned and paid strategies on social media are not mutually exclusive, and often the most effective social media strategies employ a combination of both. The various models of social media-enabled sharing are of the following content types. Blogs. Blogs are content created by individuals, groups, or companies to express their opinions or provide information or insights on specific topics of their choice. The most popular blogs choose topics that are of interest to a large community. However, niche blogs catering to a certain targeted audience can be successful if they dominate the share of voice in that particular subject area. Successful blogs have something interesting, useful, or creative to share and do that sharing with an engaging style. Blogs may contain images, infographics, or videos in addition to text. In most cases, they are also open to comments from readers. These comments are generally directed to the author. Sometimes, readers discuss a blog post among themselves, resulting in a discussion forum. Blogs are typically part of an overall content marketing strategy, which is about providing informative, helpful content to potential customers, rather than overtly selling. From a company's perspective, a blog or rich site summary or RSS feed is an effective means for updating actual or prospective customers of happenings related to the company or the company's products. RSS feeds use standard web feed formats to publish blog posts and syndicate data automatically. RSS feeds benefit users who want to receive timely updates from favorite websites or to aggregate data from many sites. Subscribing to an RSS feed removes the need for the user to manually check the website for new content. Instead, their browser constantly monitors the site and informs the user of any updates. The browser can also be set to automatically download the new data for the user. Frequent updates also keep content fresh, enable curating of content, and facilitate the sharing of relevant content created by others, while contributing to a website's ranking in search engines. Contributions from established, well-known bloggers are generally considered credible and influential. Discussion Forums these are websites used for discussing issues related to a specific topic. Participants in such forums may be asked to register. They are encouraged to ask each other questions, answer questions, and share information. Many forums allow participants to rate each other's contributions, enabling contributors to build their reputations over time. Some discussion forums may be hosted and moderated by the company, in which case, the company would have some influence on the content of the discussion. In other cases, discussion forums are independent of a company. However, 
Companies should be aware of popular discussion forums in which their products may be discussed and make an effort to respond to customers within those forums. Companies can participate in such forums actively to engage with participants and build a positive identity for themselves and their products and brands. Social media monitoring tools can scan social platforms, such as discussion forums, for mentions of the company or the company's products or brands. If trusted contributors mention a company's product or brand or provide a link to its web page, then the company's website may witness a significant improvement in search engine rankings and increased visitors to the website. Professional Networking Sites these sites relate to people, groups, or companies sharing professional updates, content, and discussions generally related to an organization, a company, a product, or a profession. These sites are used to build an individual's personal brand as well as to raise awareness of businesses' brands and their products or services within the online community. Companies share such professional updates for various purposes, such as sharing product launch information, communicating offers and discounts, announcing changes in policies, and sharing media coverage. Relevant and engaging updates can help companies build and retain a loyal base of customers. Can you think of an example for this concept? In 2012, one of the largest American multinational banking and financial services corporations realized that their brand was not as strong among female professionals as it was among male ones. To combat this, they created a group on LinkedIn for professional women with the aim of creating a networking site where female professionals could discuss issues related to their working lives. This, they reasoned, might enhance the perception of their brand among women. Within a few months of the group's creation, it broke the 30,000 members mark and continued growing at a rapid pace from year to year. With more than 1,000 comments posted each week, it became one of the most active groups of its kind on the network. Social Networking Sites These are posts that pertain to people or groups sharing personal updates about themselves or about a topic. These updates are generally shared with friends, relatives, or acquaintances, but they may also be shared with the general public. A company needs to create content or share updates that are relevant, interesting, or entertaining enough for people to share with their personal network. And the content shared should also align with the marketing objectives for the product or brand. Therefore, businesses should focus their social networking site updates on useful and interesting information on subjects related to the company's product or brand. This channel provides the opportunity for companies to share their brand personality and advertise company events, sales, and discount coupons. The focus of these updates should be on fun and engaging shareable content. Also, companies that have a high level of brand loyalty and where customers relate to the brand strongly may find customers voluntarily creating content or experiences related to the brand or sharing the brand's updates. What examples can you think of for this concept? A popular airline company in the United States effectively used Twitter to increase sales as well as gather charitable donations. The company used promoted trends and promoted tweets to announce low fares and gave donations to Stand Up to Cancer. The campaign gained tremendous response as the company received 11,000 hashtag mentions. During the campaign, the company gathered $50,000 in charitable donations, increased signups by 25%, and had the top five sales days in the history of the company. Video Sharing Sites this activity relates to sharing videos, audio, infographics, or images with other people. Such content can be shared with any person or group. In most social media channels that are focused on sharing such content, people can vote on or rank audiovisual content or add their comments. Thus, these channels integrate the discussion forum element into audiovisual sharing. For example, on YouTube, a social media channel for sharing videos, users can like or dislike a video, comment on the video, and reply to each other's comments. 
At times, such posts from users may be misused by competitors or by people with ulterior motives, resulting in hate speech, insults, swearing, and general unpleasantness. Given the fact that these sites are vulnerable to such consumer behavior, forums may require moderators or restricted access protocols to ensure that discussions and feedback stay relevant, socially appropriate, and unbiased. Companies can use such channels very effectively, as videos, images, and audio can have a much larger impact on the target market than text updates. Many companies invest in creating engaging and interesting videos about their products, which sometimes become extremely popular and drastically increase brand visibility. Some also create melodies around their product, which can become as popular as songs in their own right or as ringtones for mobile phones. Can you think of an example for this concept? One clever YouTube marketing campaign increased sales for a small travel bookshop in Switzerland. With more travel research being conducted online, the bookshop highlighted the limits of the internet with a video showing a crashed Google Street View car. The video went viral and was covered by some of Switzerland's biggest news publications. A Flickr account also posted photos of bookshop employees next to the car, wearing branded t-shirts. The video linked back to the store's website. The traffic boomed significantly, resulting in a significant sales increase for the travel bookshop. Others. Several other types of social media content exist. However, their usage across different social media channels is limited and they are mostly used as standalone elements. Two such elements are collaborative websites and content discovery sites. Collaborative websites. These websites are created by groups of people working together to build content on a particular topic. Some might provide the raw content, some might review it, and some might format the content. Examples of collaborative websites are wikis, where people collaborate on specific topics of interest to them, and once a page on a particular topic is created, they continue to review it in order to make it better over time. The most popular example of a wiki is Wikipedia. Because the most popular wikis are continuously peer-reviewed and trusted by a large audience, a company's mention on such pages can bring a large amount of online traffic to its website. It's essential to have third-party media coverage and links to third-party documentation that support legitimacy of the company in order to create a page on Wikipedia. Content Discovery Sites These sites, such as Reddit, and stumble upon are those where people share content they find interesting or useful so that others can also access the same content. Because the focus is on content discovery, the home pages of such websites generally contain content shared by others. Users who subscribe to or register on such sites can customize the type of content that appears on their home page. Companies that create interesting, engaging, and useful content stand a good chance of having their content shared on such sites, which in turn drives additional traffic to their own websites. Email marketing. This is often used as an alternative to traditional offline direct mail initiatives and can be a significant contributor to the digital marketing strategy. Email campaigns are designed not only to connect with customers and potential customers on news items, product releases, promotions, and announcements, but such campaigns are also often used to drive traffic to the company's other digital channels. Businesses can communicate with existing customers using internal lists in order to optimize and support relationships with customers. As well as, in many cases, businesses purchase digital mail lists for various email campaigns in order to expand their reach in the digital space. When exploring email as a digital marketing tool, businesses should pay considerable attention to the ways that email marketing can be aligned with other digital marketing channels to expand reach, support customer relations, and support the team in achieving the digital marketing targets. With that, we end our discussion of the tools associated with the Understand Available DM Channels process. Thank you for learning with us.